Hello, lovely people of the internet. My name is Nidhi Shandilya, and I'm a senior product manager with Teams uh, Engineering. Today, I want to tell you about a new offering that we have on the Teams platform. This new offering is called App Templates. I want to show you what it is and how do you get started on that. Now, as you know, Microsoft Teams has an impressive suite of capabilities as is. That suite of capabilities is made even more powerful by the platform that it exposes. Our developer ecosystem is building applications on top of that platform. Talking about apps, I still remember my very first Hello World in C++ that I wrote 20 years ago. We've come a long way. Learning libraries and frameworks is easy, but creating an app still requires time and thoughtful approach. That's why for Teams platform, we're launching app templates. So app templates are these fully built Teams applications that are open sourced, community driven, and so housed on our Office Dev GitHub link. When it comes to building a useful application, there are literally three things that matter. Number one is the source code and the design itself. It is that carefully crafted experience that you expose to your end users. Number two, once you have that developed, that has to be housed somewhere. For example, Azure uh, instance uh, in your own tenant. Then you need to expose that application to a channel, for example, Teams. With these app templates, we've automated all of those points so that it's just a matter of few clicks to get your app up and running. Third and final is documentation. You want to make sure that the app that you have uh, exposed and it's up and running, all the stakeholders that are maintaining that app are on the same page. All app templates will ship with extensive documentation. I know I said three benefits, but there's fourth additional bonus benefit of app templates. The code is open sourced and then the app templates ship with a basic configuration UI, which means that you can tweak certain features to vary the experience for your end users but you can also extend the functionality by hooking it up to your backend business applications to extend and uh, enrich the feature set that your application has. So enough talking. Let me walk you through a quick demo of what the concept is so you know what I'm talking about. So this app template that, that I want to show you now is called Custom Stickers. We really built this as a lightweight example to prove the concept out. Uh, this was also one of the uh, asks from a lot of our customers. Uh, the platform exposes rich functionality, so literally anyone could build it, build it. But since many customers were asking for it, we created a template out of it. Self-expression is core to Teams culture. And the ability to use uh, custom branded stickers and GIFs was something that uh, a, a lot of users wanted. So let me show you how the custom stickers uh, app templates work. I have a mess messaging extension here that's pinned to my chat experience. I pull it up. I choose a custom sticker that I uploaded for my own tenants, which is this cute little giraffe. And I embed it, put in my own message, and send it. Now you'll notice that this sticker is not available in the standard uh, app that Microsoft team, uh, Teams shipped. Uh, it's also not in the uh, GIF experience. So it, it literally could be anything that you want to make uh, available for your users. So now I'll show you the end user experience. Let's say I have deployed this app template custom stickers and it's available for my end users. Uh, your end users will discover it as a pinned app uh, in the Compose extension here. You'll click here, bring up the extension, pick up any sticker that uh, the IT admin has made available for the users, and the users will be able to very easily uh, paste it within their chat messages and have uh, uh, interesting conversations. These stickers uh, are, are not available in the uh, emoji set or GIF set here. These are custom. So we'll give you the ability to upload your own custom stickers, GIFs, and emojis. Speaking of custom stickers and configuration, this is what the configuration for custom stickers look like. As with all app templates, this configuration allows you to do minor tweaks to the end user experience. One point to note here is that uh, this is sitting in your version of Azure. Microsoft has no access to this data uh, and uh, does not have uh, the ability to look at what stickers are being uploaded. 
So to add a new stickers to make available for my end users, I click add new. I simply navigate to where my sticker is stored on my uh, personal drive. I find the sticker that I want and I hit create and it's available in my repository. I update the messaging extension. Now let's check if that sticker is available uh, to my end users or not. So I bring up the stickers app and it's right here. Click on it and users can go about their conversations just like that. You can also delete the stickers. Deletion is really easy as well and update the messaging extension the same way. So as you can see, it's really simple to manage these stickers. Uh, you can get uh, more people access to this uh, configuration experience so that not one person is uh, uh, needed to do these updations. Let me now walk you over through to how the deployment part works. So we've documented all of the uh, application steps uh, on how to get started in this one simple uh, GitHub repo. And literally after following, uh, following these steps, deploying to Azure is just a matter of clicking a button. You follow the rest of the documentation and uh, the app is deployed. So the second app template that I want to show you today is called List Search. We know that SharePoint lists power some of the core workflows for our customers. And collaborating in Microsoft Teams quite often references information contained within items in a SharePoint list. And simply pasting a link to an item forces everyone to switch context away from conversations. And to help alleviate this pain, we created a list search app template. So let me show you how it works. Let's say I'm a manager and uh, I have a lightweight contact list to manage customers and the issues that they have. And uh, I want to bring, bring up a particular customer in question and have a conversation around their experience. I have the list search app uh, already installed in my chat interface here. I bring it up. I select the list, which is manage customers. And then let's say the customer's name is Northwind Traders. The app whips up uh, a bunch of results. I pick the one that's most suitable to me. And then there, there's metadata available for that list. Uh, this is what we had, but this is totally configurable. We can have even more items uh, in here. And all of that is shared as an adaptive card uh, very contextual, you can have even more uh, layers of information uh, for your users. So I type in, hey team, what's the update on this customer? I can even add mention people, people and uh, have a conversation with them about this individual entity. So let's say I'm a manager and I have a, a list of customers that I manage and I have a team that supports it. And I have, I have a, a question about a particular customer. I don't know who's managing that relationship. Uh, without having to context swi switch, I can whip up the app from here, select my list, search for the customer, and then share that thing as contextual piece of conversation. Notice that I didn't have to go back to the SharePoint list, navigate to the individual record, and get who's the customer PM. It was just within this conversation itself. Now I can type in any message, share it with my team, and everyone can collaborate around it without having to context switch. Now you can imagine many other scenarios where bringing item level SharePoint list data can be very powerful. The beauty of this app template is that it's configurable so you can suit it to a variety of needs that you may have. A few other examples of uh, SharePoint lists uh, that are common are bug tracking, company glossary, SKU lookup, 
we're having a conversation around an individual item within a list becomes very contextual and very powerful. So a few other app templates that we will share with you in this iteration are list search, which you've seen. There's custom stickers, which is, again, a messaging extension that enables custom stickers, GIFs, and images. There's also uh, an app template called Icebreaker. It's a cute little team spot that spurs team culture by pairing people who don't know each other well to build personal connections. The bot pairs people up once a week and then they can set up a time for coffee or chat. Uh, we're leveraging Graph API, so the bot also suggests time for people to meet that's free for both parties. Other app templates that are going to be coming soon are uh, Celebration Spot, which is a team spot to help the team members remember and celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, and other recurring events. We also are working on a workflow approval app uh, where within a team's app itself, you can uh, manage workflow approvals within lines of businesses. And lastly, Company Communicator, it's a team spot to help disseminate co content and announcements to multiple teams and individuals in one go. In near future, we are focusing building these templates for common scenarios in each line of businesses in an organization, such as for HR, culture, IT, DevOps, sales, and marketing. To give these app templates a try, visit our Teams app templates homepage in this video. The link is HTTPS aka.ms, Teams app templates. Finally, do let us know which app templates uh, you'd like us to build and what would make this offering more meaningful and more productive for you. Uh, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. And once again, I hope you enjoyed this demo. My name is Nidhi Shandelia. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.